Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Ocarina of Fire. So, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be doing a site review for 99gamers.com. 99gamers is a free way to allow gamers to trade their games online to other gamers. It started off as a subreddit community, but it has evolved into a website of its own. So basically how I stumbled upon this site was, I bought the Xbox One at launch and Call of Duty Ghost with it. Was not a big fan of Call of Duty Ghost. And I wanted to get Battlefield 4, but I wasn't sure how to go about that, getting the best bang for my buck. You know, if you trade your game in the GameStop, you're going to get $20 back for a $60 game. If you sell it on eBay, they're going to take 10% out of it. So 99Gamers was the best way to get the best value out of my trade. So I'll show you just how easy it is to trade on 99Gamers and how great of a tool it can be and how many games are actually on this site. So as you can see... 99Gamers has next-gen, PS4, Xbox One, N64, GameCube, Nintendo DS, NES, Sega Genesis, PC, Steam, Digital Physical, every platform is on this site. And it's a great source to find great games at a discounted price and to get it from an actual gamer. So, you know, with eBay, you always take a chance that someone's going to be sending you garbage, but with this site... The guys at the site really walk you through every step of the way. There's a forum where you can ask for suggestions, where you can get tips on how to be a better seller, and they really walk you through it every process, holding your hand and make sure you get it done right. Basically, I'm going to show you real quick 99gamers.com and their, their trust uh, forum. Basically, it breaks down how the site works. It talks about their virtual currency, how basically one coin is $1. And you can't get any money out of the site, so you can't be selling games to make a dollar off it. But it goes through about how the games are guaranteed and how the tracking number and use of that really ensures how uh, successful the process works. Basically, when I upload a tracking number, the guys at the site know exactly where my game is at every site. They know when I shipped it, they know when the uh, seller gets it, when the buyer gets it, and they know uh, within a certain time frame that the buyer has to acknowledge, yes, the game works, everything works correctly, and you'll be awarded your coins. So I'll leave this link in the description. Check it out. Read through it. It's a lot, very helpful, and it really shows how simple this site really is. Another great thing about this site is, see, right now I have 20 coins. So if I wanted a game for 24 coins, I can, through PayPal, buy $4 worth of coins to get the 24 to have enough to buy a game. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to sell in the process I went through to sell when I wanted to get rid of my Call of Duty Ghosts. So all I had to do was click on sell and type in Ghosts here, so Call of Duty Ghost. For Xbox One, you pick your platform and it brings you to a screen where you get to talk, uh, decide what's the condition of it. For me at the time, it was like new. I had the game for a couple weeks, wasn't a fan of it. It was no scratches for it. You know, adult gamer, and ain't going to have scratches and paste all over you know how little kids get into things sometimes so I click night like new and it gives you the option of how much you want to sell it for like it says again one coin is one dollar so right now thirty one dollars is like the average of what they would sell an Xbox one game and it talks you here through um, the conditions and what other sellers are selling it for so right now the average is thirty seven while you can go up to forty five fifty five sixty seventy dollars whatever you want to sell it for go for it. Whether you sell it or not, that's another story. So, in a couple days, I had a, a buyer interested in my game, bought my game, I shipped it out. Three dollars for a game to ship it through the mail. It was like two dollars and fifty cents to ship it, ninety-nine cents for the envelope, something like that. And I had it out to him. In three days, I had my coins awarded, and I was able to go buy a new Xbox One game. So, I picked Battlefield 4. It was 45 coins as well. So, basically, for the price of shipping a game, I got Battlefield 4 for nothing. No hidden costs, no hidden fees, no 99Gamers takes 10% or whatever like eBay does. No hidden costs, 100% free, paid for the shipping, that was it. So when you're interested in the game, you just click on a th uh, the game you would want, and it has different listings similar to eBay. It has the price, the condition of it, any comments the seller has, and the seller's feedback. So you can see this user here, Brandon, has uh, about 180 or so um, uses of the site, buying and selling, while CJ Wilson here hasn't used the site yet. So you're able to pick who you want to buy from. If you're a little weary about buying from someone who's brand new, you can spend a little bit more and go to the established seller, if you will. Not saying that you shouldn't head towards these new buyers because, like I said, they are so on top of everything at the site. They know where every step of the process is. Even when you sell the game, 
I mean, I got uh, someone wanted to buy my 2K, as you'll see. I had four days to respond to commit to ship it so this uh, buyer knows that I'm serious about selling it. So the site is so simple to use. There's messaging, there's forums. It's so easy that it's almost idiot proof. So the next step would be once you have uh, someone bought your game. So I'll take you a little bit through the process here. When you first sell the game, 2K13, Xbox 360, you don't play it anymore. It's the last year's edition. So when I, got, I posted the game on a Monday, and on a Thursday, I got uh, someone asked to buy it for me. So all you have to do is acknowledge the trade. It'll ask you if you want to sell it in one day or in three days. I had a little bit of a problem. The Northeast got hit by a snowstorm this weekend. So I told the buyer, it's going to be a little bit longer. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. He responded back, no problem. Take your time. So I acknowledge the trade, and then it asks you to post photos, as you saw before. Basically, you just post a photo of the case, front and back, inside, you know, flipped open with the case, the game manual, and the game, and then one of the discs so you can ensure that you're getting what you say you're going to get. The next step, then, will be to package a game. You put a little bit of bubble wrap around the game, stick in a bubble mailer. 6x10 is usually the best size, so everything fits snugly, but not too snug. It's 70 cents at Walmart or Staples. They're very cheap, so it's nothing too expensive. And then once you get to that uh, section, you go to your shipping instructions. You can either bring it to the USPS or ship it through PayPal. You can purchase actually shipping through PayPal, and they'll give you your tra tracking number right on the site. And if you go to the USPS, you would click on this here, get the uh, user's address, write it on the envelope, bring it to the post office, and then update the tracking track number after. I'm not going to click on this section just yet because I don't want to reveal the uh, seller's information, and the package will be going out in the mail today, so I do not have any tracking number quite yet. Once you get the tracking number, it'll give you a place at the bottom here to type it in and once you're at that step you are all set you wait for the gamer to get his game he gives uh he tests it out make sure everything works right checks off everything works right and you're good to go you got your 20 uh you got your nine coins for in my case so basically when i get these nine coins i can either spend the 29 like i said on we'll go gamecube for the hell of it i can either spend the whole 29 coins on let's just say uh Sonic Adventure DX. So I could spend all of them on that and buy a couple games for that. Luigi's Mansion and the Sonic game for the 29. Or I can just take the 9 and directly buy Super Monkey Ball 2. So for $3, I essentially traded 2K13 for Xbox 360, collecting dust in my room, not being played, for a copy of Super Monkey Ball 2, one of my favorite games for the GameCube growing up, for 9 coins. So you're trading your game from one user to another. There's no hidden costs. There's no surprises. You're not going to get booked for a month, monthly fee or anything. For the cheap cheap cost of shipping the envelope in the mail, that's all you need to do. Get three dollars to ship it. They get it, approve it. You get your coins, and that's all really there is to it. It's so simple that I really didn't even think I needed the song to explain it, but I wanted to make sure I did everything in detail. So I'm going to leave the site, the link, to everything in the description, 99gamers.com. I'm going to leave the site to the breakdown of how everything works, 99gamers.com slash trush. That will all be in the description. And if you have any comments, any concerns, any questions at all, please, you can either leave them in the comment section below or feel free to email the guys at 99gamers. Uh, you know, you got John. He's been he's great. They get back to you in a couple hours. They know exactly what they're doing. You know, They usually know of the concern before it even gets to you because they, they can see everything that's going on behind the scenes. And these guys are great. I highly recommend using this site. It's great for any gamer to use. And it's I really want to just spread the word about this site because it really helped me out so much when I wanted to get rid of Call of Duty and get Battlefield. And I haven't um, been disappointed. And I just really want to get the word out. So that's all I got. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all found it useful. Be sure to check out the site. I highly, highly recommend it. It's great. And that's all I got for you tonight, Ocarina of Fire. Make sure you all check out this site. Signing out and have a good one.